We want to turn that to a book. All parents with kids playing sports will want to know about I loved it. It's called The Sports Gene Inside the Science of Extraordinary Athletic Performance. I talked to the author, David Epstein, about a headline grabbing book that he's written. It tackles some of the most controversial, really taboo topics in sports today, including whether nature or nurture makes the best athlete and whether some ethnic groups are better suited to succeed at athletics. In Kenya, we're used to thinking of all Kenyans as being great runners, but really when I visited, it's, it's one tiny tribe that makes up 10 to 12 percent of the population there, the Kalenjin tribe, that produces the vast majority of the good runners. This is a Kalenjin phenomenon, not Kenyan, and one thing that they happen to have uh, is their ancestry is at low latitude, hot and dry climate, they have extremely long limbs proportional to their body size. And that's, that's an evolutionary adaptation for cooling. So what had been a, a taboo subject, that certain ethnic groups are genetically predisposed to athletic superiority, really it's more that there's an evolutionary fluke, that there's something that allowed people to get by that then can be applied athletically. Absolutely, and it, and it means they're worse for some other things. So people at, with northern latitude ancestry, you and I, Europeans, Michael Phelps have longer torsos, which is like the long hull of a canoe, so that's better for swimming. Mm -hmm. He has extremely short legs. Michael Phelps is six foot four, has the same inseam as the guy who holds the world record in the mile, who's five foot nine. Those guys wear the same size pants. And I want to discuss something that a lot of parents watching at home are, are going to be interested in. The idea of the specialized athlete, the kid who's playing the club, playing year round, as opposed to maybe someone, of, say, of my vintage, somebody who played all sports seasonally. Uh, what did you find? Uh, uh, makes the best athlete. So there's some evidence that in certain sports, gymnastics, some evidence for golf, that early specialization helps. Mm. In other sports, it looks like acquiring a range of experiences and skills through your teen years actually benefits uh, athletes later on. You look at a guy like Steve Nash, right? How, one of the most skilled basketball players who ever lived. Didn't get a basketball until he was 13 years old. Played soccer. So it looks like now the, the, the best thing to do is to sample find the best fit for your unique genome, and then specialize in the mid-teen years, kind of 15 and 16. That's the pattern that most of the elites have. Figure out what your skill set is. Go find the sport that emphasizes it. It is a fascinating book. We could sit and spend hours on it. We shan't, but it is The Sports Gene. It's by David Epstein. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for having me.